More than a few compact luxury SUVs are dull little things, but the Porsche Macan is one of only a handful that prove daring and exciting to drive. Despite its rather shed-like shape, the Macan embodies plenty of Porsche sports car characteristics. The base Macan comes with a 261 HP turbocharged 2.0 liter inline four engine that generates a respectable amount of zip. Macan S gets a 375 HP twin turbo V6 that delivers a significant leap in performance, making it the second mightiest of the Macan line before deferring to the more furious 434 HP Macan GTS, which we review separately. The Macan's steering and ride make carving through challenging twisty roads as easy as slicing soft butter, thanks to a chassis designed for performance over cargo space. It's unmatched in terms of driving feel. So, while the boxier BMW X3M will carry more luggage, the Macan carries more of what enthusiasts crave, pure driving soul. The price of the 2024 Porsche Macan starts at $62,550 and goes up to $73,950 depending on the trim and options. Given the Macan's athletic character, we'd skip the base powertrain and go straight for the V6-powered S, which brings a meaningful bump in performance. Standard features include a 10.9-inch touchscreen infotainment system, a 10-speaker audio system, and LED headlights. We'd also splurge a little for the premium package for its heated front and rear seats, adaptive headlights, and an upgraded 14-speaker audio system. The Sport Chrono Pack has our attention too for its driver-adjustable drive modes and launch control feature. With the base turbo four-cylinder, the Macan bounds to 60 mph in just 5.0 seconds. It feels sprightly around town, but speed freaks will want to upgrade to the twin-turbo V6-powered S model. At our test track, the Macan S was only a few seconds behind the more powerful GTS with a 3.8-second 60 mf time. The Macan S is significantly quicker than the times posted by the Audi SQ5 and Jaguar F-Pace S. An SUV probably doesn't need to launch off the line as quickly as that, but we sure appreciate it. Quickness is important in a crossover with sporting intentions, but we wouldn't be nearly as impressed with the Macan if it weren't for its all-around competence on the road. It feels remarkably like a sports sedan. The ride is wonderfully smooth and carefully controlled, and it's rare for a jolt from the pavement to make itself known to the driver. The steering is a tad lighter than it is in Porsche's sports cars, but it's still micrometer accurate and pleasantly tactile. The most efficient Macan, according to the EPA, is the base model with the turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder, which is rated for 19 MPG city and 25 MPG highway. The Macan S, which is powered by the twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6, is rated for 17 MPG city and 23 MPG highway. On our 75 Mendepur real-world highway fuel economy loop, the Macan S averaged 26 MPG bettering its highway figure by 3 mpg. The Macan's standard interior fittings are a disappointment in a crossover of this price and provenance, and it's expensive to outfit one in a manner that befits the Porsche Crest. There's also less space for backseat passengers in the Macan than in most competitors. The power-adjustable seats for the driver and front passenger, while comfortable, are the only pieces of standard interior equipment that feel luxurious. You could have the whole interior draped in leather, which would partly address the issue, but Porsche, living up to its price-gouging reputation, requires an extra $2230 just to cover the dashboard and doors in cowhide. A puny cargo hold and small interior cubbies make the Macan one of the least practical vehicles in this segment. But when has buying a Porsche ever been a rational choice? We fit six carry-on bags behind the bench and 16 with the rear seats folded, which should be enough for most people. Please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more exceeding content. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss our future videos.